Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dan Hendrickson here. Got a real golf video for you today. We are at Talkie Golf Club. We're doing a little bit of chipping and pitching around the greens. And I thought I would share with you a shot that I played recently at Wallasey Golf Club, which was a plugged bunker shot on the second hole. Now I had a slight upslope to have to deal with as well. And I managed to get the ball up and down. So I thought I would share with you kind of my thoughts on what I did and how I got in there to execute the shot. And don't forget, if you do like what you're seeing from these real golf videos, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, always leave a comment if you can. I'm gonna go and show you that shot that I played on the second hole at Wallasey. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough it's little. It's like a pluggy, but it's also it's sort of sat in a little. little Should make four though, shouldn't it? But you're there, Bernie, aren't you? So well, I've got the five. How's that? Where's that moving from? Just get it out and then. Yeah. Put the face and let it come out. Oh, oh that's world well class. Oh. Yeah, it's very good that. That is world class. Yeah, well done. A lot of sand there. Yep. <laughs> Confidence oozing at you. We must make territory already. Already. Well, you can't miss in those shoes, can you? No, you can't. Do that. Well, that is a plugged lie. If ever you've seen a plugged lie, that's a plugged lie right there. Which is actually very similar to the plugged lie that I had when we were at Wallasey. Slightly different bunkers. Obviously, the seaside bunkers, the, the Lynx courses that you get, you get, especially up towards the faces, you might get quite a lot of fluffy sand, don't you? Um, which can cause the ball to plug on, and I certainly had that situation at Wallasey. What's going to happen to that shot, Bernie, with it being plugged? The, the, the key element is there's going to be a lack of spin when that comes out. Correct. There's a lot of sand between club face and ball. As you go in, yeah. Uh, when you play a normal bunker shot, you're looking to generate some spin to get a bit of control, but yeah. we know that that's going to come out with a lack of spin. Yeah. Now, the good thing that I had at Wallasey was that I was coming out of the bunker, but I was going to be landing on a downslope, which enabled the ball to just release down towards the pin. I knew that when the ball came out, all I had to do was get it out. If I could get it out over the lip of the bunker, it was going to release down towards the pin. Now, as Lester said, the key here to remember is that when you're playing a normal bunker shot, you're going to look to try and rely on a little bit of spin control. Um, that's where you get a little bit of sand between on the club face and it acts almost like a like a, a bit of grip tape doesn't it on the face of it um, whereas in this situation we're going to get so much sand between club face and ball it's just going to come out dead and then release as it lands and works its way down to the to the hole now if you think about this shot here in order for me to get this ball out of this situation i've got to make sure that i get the the, the club underneath the ball because I need to hit it down to allow it to pop up, get the height to get over the lip and then let it release down. So I don't want to use too much bounce in this scenario. So I'm going to try and take the bounce off the club. So when I played that shot at Wallasey, instead of opening the face up like I would normally do in a normal bunker shot, I'm actually going to square the club face up and almost lean the handle forward, which then lifts the back edge of that wedge and enables that wedge to dig in. And I want that club to dig as far down in the sand as possible to get under the ball to then be able to push it up from there, like so. Keep my body pretty square to the target. You're also, by that, you're taking loft off the... Correct, yeah, but you're relying on the pop to get yeah. it up and out of that situation. Because you've got to remember that was quite a big lip, wasn't it? And it, I managed to get it out okay. So in that situation, I still want to feel like not, not leaning back, but I'm, I'm definitely not leaning into the shot too much. I'm just trying to feel like I can let the natural, like gravity, naturally let gravity pull me back a little bit. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm just getting in line with the slope here. I'm keeping that club face nice and square towards my target. And then all I do is make sure I hit down into the sand. What I see a lot of players do is try and lift the ball up and out of that position. I don't want to do that. I just want to let the club sink into the sand and allow that sand to bring that ball out of the bunker. Which is pretty much what it did. Interestingly, on that shot, 
that ball popped out to the right hand side a little bit which is actually what happened at Wallasey but the contours of the green kind of brought it back a little bit from there. I'm just going to butt in here. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, because why did it come out to the right-hand side, Paul? So it came out to the right because of the way that the sand grabs the club as it goes through. Right. It, it opens the face up in that uh, way. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so um, what a lot of the guys on tour tend to do is shut the face even more, so oh. you almost start pointing it left. So whereas I had it pretty square to target, you're saying they almost like turn the club in yeah. a little bit more to allow for that club opening up? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And you can actually get really um, technical technical with it and grip it. If you shut it right down and grip yeah. it loosely yeah. with your hands. And allow it to open. So then it goes into the sand shut yeah. and then it will open and that will actually pop a bit more loft up under it as okay. it goes through. Yeah. So that's getting a bit technical, but that's something that um, an old coach of mine taught me. Yeah. He used to play on tour. It was like a little finesse plug shot where your club would sort of go in shut and then open as it goes through. Right. And, and it gets it popping up a bit higher. From holding the, the holding the, the grip of the club any firmer, is that going to hold on to it? Or is it, yeah, is the, it more... The, the firmer you, you, hold, you hold, the yeah. less it's going to go right in theory because yeah. you'll be stopping the club face from, from opening up. So you've got a different way of doing it, haven't yeah. you? I mean, I would use the technique you've used um, the majority of the times, but I've also seen players play a plug shot differently. Okay. Um, I'll maybe just try and talk you through how they would play it. Let's see it, um, yeah. So instead of you standing very square and, um, and, and not using bounce, and, uh, sorry, not using loft but using bounce, I'm going to go the opposite. So I'm going to open the club face up more yeah. and play more of, a, more of a traditional bung stop, but try and make sure I get this club underneath that ball. Okay, so how are you going to do that? How so do you, I'm how gonna, do you get that I'm going to hit the, I'm going to hit it harder okay. than I would a normal shot. So a normal shot, my, my rhythm would probably be sort of there, whereas when I play this shot now, I'm going to make sure I get the club in underneath the ball, but I'm going to use a lot of power to lift it out. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see it then. So opening the, opening the feet up, opening the club face up like you would normally. Um, notice that you're on an upslope there, Bernie. Yeah. Are you sort of letting I'm, the natural... Yeah, Natural, so, uh, I'm, pulling so back. I'm trying to lean slightly into the slope, but not yeah. so that I'm actually in that position where I'm going to dig the club so you're in. you're not leaning into no, the No, I'm trying to get almost sort of perpendicular to the actual slope, Yeah. but not, so I'm in here trying to lift it up. Okay. I'm actually still going to drive through, so I've got it very open, Yeah. club face. Good, yeah. And just let it feed down. So if you look at my actual sort of splash area or the way that I've contacted the sand, that is a lot deeper um, and a lot bigger than when I would play a normal bunker shot. So I've actually, I mean, I've made contact with that much of the sand and yeah, lifted it up. Yeah, a lot. So it's quite a deep, um, deep and long sort of divot. And in the how sand. far behind the ball are you trying to play that? I'm trying to play it a couple of inches behind, but yeah. again, making sure that I get underneath it. Because if you don't and I hit it that hard, yeah. I'm going to be somewhere in the road if I actually catch the leading edge yeah. with the ball. So I'm just making sure I'm going under it. And then the worst case scenario, I was going to get it onto this downslope, so it's actually going to yeah, make, make a bad down. shot still look reasonably good. But that shot I played quite well. I landed it actually further down the slope. Yeah, I like that. Well, there's just a couple of different ways that you can play these plug bunker shots. Obviously, that's my way of doing it. That's Lester's way of doing it. And obviously, with Paul, with what he says about how that club face rotates, I think is obviously an important factor to take consideration when you're playing these shots. One thing I would say from both of those shots, though, is how aggressive we were. Yeah. You know. You, you, when you're going to play these shots, you're going to get so much sand between club face and ball that the ball's going to come out very dead and with no spin on the ball, so no, no backspin that you would normally get. And I think it's really important to make sure that if you're going to play a shot like this, give it a bit more oomph than what you would normally. You've got to make sure you get it out, haven't you? That's Absolutely. The key, the key, That's key number one. You know, is get the once, ball you, once you feel confident the about getting the ball out, then you yeah. can start to sort of vary it up and, and play more to the pin. I mean, yeah. I feel pretty confident as a bunker player that I can go up pins no matter what my lie is. Yeah. Um, that's to start with, just get your confidence, get it out of the, get it out of the bunker. You don't want to confound the error more by then leaving it in there and then facing another bunker shot. Yeah. Well, if you like what you're seeing from these real golf videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Pop a little comment down below if you do something similar to us, or even if you do something completely different. We'd like to hear what you have to say, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next video.